The Giants have hired Don Wing Martindale as their defensive coordinator, and this is why you subscribe. Get breaking news, daily Giants videos all off-season long. The Giants, they have a lot of picks in the NFL draft. We are going to ramp up our coverage here in the offseason. So go down right now and hit that big red button. It is official. The Giants have replaced Patrick Graham, their former defensive coordinator, for their new defensive coordinator, and that is Don Wink Martindale. I'm not a good winker, but that's my best effort. Ian Rappaport, he broke the news first, and he said this. The Giants are planning to hire former Ravens defensive coordinator Don Wink Martindale as their new D.C. He was their top outside candidate choice with Patrick Graham going to the Raiders. Martindale steps in for the New York Giants. And ever since Brian Dable took over as the Giants head coach, Wink Martindale was the number one rumored candidate to be the Giants' next defensive coordinator, and here we are. He has been with the Ravens since 2012, and he started as the linebacker coach, so he worked through the ranks, got the defensive coordinator job in 2018, and the things he's put on paper as a defensive coordinator were very encouraging, and that's why he's landing this job with the New York Football Giants to be their defensive play caller, and I really, really like this move. We'll talk in more depth what Don Wink Martindale is going to bring, the changes he's going to bring, maybe some, some, some similarities he will bring from Patrick Graham, but I want you guys to get involved early on in the show. Get down in the comments. Grade the hire of Wink Martindale. A, B, C, D, or F. A, you loved it. B, it was solid. C, it was eh. D, you're not a fan. F, it was a total failure. This will be the pinned comment, so scroll on down, get your votes, and by the time you scroll back up, the video will be playing. Martindale brings in an aggressive defense. I'm giving this an A hire for a multitude of reasons. I think the, the most biggest changes you will see from Patrick Graham to Wink Martindale is the fact that the Giants are going to increase the amount of times they blitz and the amount of pressures they get on opposing quarterbacks. The blitz rate in 2021, that means the amount of times the defense blitzed when the opposing offense dropped back their quarterback. The Giants, they did it on a fourth of pass attempts, while the Baltimore Ravens, they did it on 31% of passing attempts during the 2021 NFL season, and that is a common thing for Don Wink Martindale defenses. In 2019, they blitzed on almost 55% of pass attempts, which was first in the NFL. And then in 2020, they were also first blitzing on 44% of pass attempts. And that number dropped back a little bit to 31.1%, which was sixth in the NFL. So Wink is going to bring an aggressive defense that loves to blitz and loves to play man coverage behind blitzing fronts. He likes to send six players on blitzes, one more than the offensive line, the zero blitz that we have all seen. If you play Madden, it's the cheat code on Madden defense. But Don is going to bring an de aggressive defense, which will be a change from Patrick Graham. There won't be any more of this bend, but don't break. Don Wink Martindale is going to make opposing offenses very un, very, uh, Uncomfortable, exactly. Thank, thank you. I've been off for the weekend. I can't really speak. But he is, his job as a defensive coordinator, what he likes to do is make opposing offenses very uncomfortable. Points per game, in 2021, they were 19th ranked. Then, in the prior three years, they were one of the best in the National Football League, second, third, and second, a top defense in the prior three seasons. And then we'll quickly go through some other stats. Yards per game, 25th, 7th fourth and first in 2018 the Ravens defense was one of the best in the National Football League and only gave up 15 touchdowns all year long which was first and then opponent passing yards per game in 2021 they were the worst in the National Football League they had a lot of injuries in the secondary big guys like Marlon Humphrey were injured and they Marcus Peters was also hurt there was a Deshaun Elliott, a lot of players for the Ravens and their secondary was hurt but the prior three seasons show you that he can put up a solid defense when it comes to passing uh, passing defense, 6th, 6th, and 5th. Then opponent rushing yards per game, 1st, 8th, 5th, and 4th. And then op and then also op opponent rush yards per game, one of the best in the National Football League. Wink is going to change the mindset for this defense, and I can't wait to see what he's able to do with all the good players that the Giants do have on decent defense and get the best out of them. If you want to bet on the Super Bowl this weekend, do with our proud sportsbook partners, Chats, uh, BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Plug in the promo code CHAT125, and when you deposit 100 bucks, when you go to chatsports.com slash bet, use the promo code CHAT125, they will match it with 125% deposit bonus. So you have $225 in your account to bet with, and do it 
on the Super Bowl this week. And the Rams, they are four-point favorites, and the total over-under is 48.5. I like the Rams to cover, and I like the over. I think this is going to be a shootout. I understand the Rams have a great defense, but I could see them getting out on the, on the scoreboard early, taking a big lead, and I could see the Bengals coming back. I like the Rams to cover, and I like the over in this one. But get your bets in with, Pat, with BetUS, chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125. Wink was also the Baltimore Ravens linebacker coach before becoming the defensive coordinator. And what I like about that is he's a hands-on teacher, and he has gotten the absolute best on some of the outside linebackers that have come through the Baltimore Ravens defense. Guys like Terrell Suggs. Matt Judon, C.J. Mosley, and Elvis Dumerville. I know Mosley played in an inside linebacker role, but he did also play on the outside. And what I like also about Wink is some of these guys, they came and they went, but the amount of times that they were able to get after the opposing passer did not change. Just because they lost big-name guys like Judon or Dumerville or Suggs, they reloaded, they built the back end of the defense up, and they, uh, they upped the amount of times that they blitz. One thing I will say about this, hopefully – Wink Martindale can get the absolute best out of Aziz Ojulari. I loved what Aziz did in his rookie season. Eight sacks. This was someone that I had a very high ceiling for coming out of Georgia, and he lived up to the expectations as a rookie. Now I want to see Wink get his hands on Aziz Ojulari. Pause. But get the absolute most out of him. Make him into one of the best pass rushers in the National Football League. But you tell me. This is a controversial topic. I know a lot of people that watch this show were big Patrick Graham fans, but some wanted him gone. So I want all of you in the comments right now to sound off and let me know. Is Wink Martindale an upgrade over Patrick Graham? Type Y for yes or type N for no. Players that I think could benefit the most from the hiring of Wink. I think Leonard Williams is going to get a big lift in terms of production and the amount of times he's going to see single team blocking. How many times this year did we see him get double teamed and triple teamed? When you bring six, when you bring the house on defense, you can't double team. So I think it's going to be able to free up Leonard Williams more than it did in the years past. Aziz Ojolari, we just touched on him. I think he's going to have a great sophomore season. Then Xavier McKinney. I think he's going to be played all over the defense. He's going to be brought down into the box more. He'll play more of that single high center field safety. And he'll also be more of a blitz threat, which I think is one of his most underrated traits. And then Adoree Jackson. Yeah, I think Adoree Jackson is going to benefit the most. He's a very, very physical corner that likes to play with his hands, but he's also a gambler. I could see him being that Marcus Peters type of role on this New York Giants defense. He's aggressive and he likes to jump routes, and when you're blitzing, you have that opportunity as a cornerback to jump routes. I could see a big boost for uh, Adoree Jackson in the 2022 NFL season. One thing that I think is going to happen, James Bradbury could be gone. And there's for a lot of reasons. The Giants, they have to create a lot of cap room. James Bradbury has a high cap hit. They may look to trade him. I think that's the, the avenue they will go. I don't think they will just cut him and let him walk free. I think you can get a third or a fourth rounder for James Bradbury. But he also really doesn't fit the mold and the style of corners that Don Wink Martindale likes. He likes aggressive, hands-on, man coverage corner. And in 2021, James Bradbury was not a good man coverage corner. So I could see him not fitting this defense and being a high cap hit, maybe a cap cut casualty for the New York Giants. A guy I could see really benefiting from Wink is Aaron Robinson, the rookie corner. He played in the slot. He played on the outside when Adoree was hurt. This is someone that I think is going to benefit a lot from the from the attitude and the defensive scheme that Martindale is going to bring over. Just like Jackson, he's an aggressive corner that likes to jump routes, so I think he'll be a, wrong, a strong candidate to be a starting outside cornerback for the Giants in the 2022 NFL season. The Giants, they're rounding out their staff, and Brian Dable has made some home run hires. I really like the hire of Mike Kafka as their offensive coordinator and Wink Martindale as the defensive coordinator, but he also brought guys that he over from Buffalo that he knows and trusts, like Shea Tierney or, and Bobby Johnson, the DB's coach Jerome Henderson, and they're keeping the special teams coach Thomas McGoffrey. If the Giants make any more moves on their coaching staff, we'll be breaking it down on this channel and on my Twitter. That's the first place you can hear about it. So hit me up at MarshallGreen underscore. Give me a follow. I'm trying to get to 1,000 followers, and I can't do it without your help, so help me out.